Now, in this video, we're going to look at adding fractions. Now, the easiest type of adding fractions questions are when the denominators are the same. So, in this example, we have one-fifth plus two-fifths. So, because they are the fifth, fives at the bottom, they are the same thing, all we need to do is add the numerators together. It's a bit like if we had one apple plus two apples, the answer would be three apples. So, here we just have one-fifth plus two-fifths is three fifths. Now, it gets a little bit more complicated when we have different denominators. So, in this question, you'll notice we have one-third plus two-fifths. So, we need to change thirds and fifths into the same denominator. So, what we need to do is think of a number that's in the three times table that is also in the five times table. Now, we think about the threes, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, and the fives, five, ten, fifteen. We realise that fifteen is the first number that appears in both times tables. So we need to change, using our knowledge of equivalent fractions, one-third into fifteenths. Now, to do this, 3 times 5 is 15, so 1 times 5 is 5. Do the same for 2 fifths to change it to fifteenths. 5 times 3 is 15, so 2 times 3 is 6. Now, we have the same denominator so we can add the numerators together, and we get 11 over 15. The most challenging type of these questions is when you are asked to add two mixed numbers together. So, for example, in this question, we have one and three quarters, sorry, two and three quarters, plus one and two fifths. Now, first of all, we need to convert these to top heavy or improper fractions. So we need to change two whole ones into quarters first. So we can do that by doing 2 times 4 is 8, plus 3 is 11. So 2 and 3 quarters is 11 over 4. 1 and 2 fifths, if we use the same method, 1 times 5 is 5, plus 2 is 7. So we get 7 fifths. Now, again, we need to find a number in the 4 and the 5 times table. The first number we realise is 20. So we're going to change both of these fractions to over 20. So 4 times 5 is 20. 11 times 5 is 55. 5 times 4 is 20. So 7 times 4 is 28. So in order to work out our answer here, we need to do 55 plus 28. If you can't do that question in your head, it's well worth just writing it down the side of the page and calculating it carefully. 5 plus 8 is 13, and then 5 plus 2 is 7, plus 1 is 8. So we get 83 over 20. And in your SATs, that is the answer that they would be looking for. If you wanted to convert it to a mixed number, you would do how many 20s go into 83? which is 4, and you would have 3 left over, so it would become 4 and 3 twentieths.